Under the general tab, there's an option down here that says show advanced options. If you click that, it's going to expand and show you more options. Um, and as a quick overview, like if you change something, uh, let's just say I just got there and just randomly click some things and then I think, oh, I, I didn't mean to do that, but I don't remember what it looked like before. Just click this defaults and it'll take it back to what it was, the, what the default values were. So simple diaphragm uh, is, uh, you, if it's a simple diaphragm building, you could check this and that's going to open up. There's a definition here of what simple diaphragm is according to ASC 7 and then that's going to change which options within MWFRS and CNC are valid because some of those methods are only applicable if it is simple, a simple diaphragm. Um, that if you are showing the base reactions, which this is an option only in the pro and higher versions, if you're going to show the base reactions, you can either uh, say I don't want to see them in my output, I only want to see a summary, or I want to see a detailed uh, list of all the reactions and how they were calculated. Um, the altitude above sea level, there's a factor, K sub E, that's calculated in um, ASC 7, I think it was six, 16 and later if I'm not mistaken, that they introduced so at a higher altitude the air is thinner and they basically give you a, a, a little reduction factor that you can consider called K sub B e that uh, will reduce your wind loads a little at higher altitudes. If you're near sea level, it doesn't really matter. Um, base elevation of the structure, you could enter that for a building. It's really more intended for something like if you had rooftop equipment, and let's say you're, uh, you've got an air conditioning unit and it's sitting 100 feet off the ground, you would enter 100 feet there, and then your um, your KZ factor, your elevation factor, will take that increase in height into consideration. But if you're talking about a foot or something uh, off grade, that's not usually significant enough to make much difference. Uh, the next option is general elevation. So these are the uh, main wind force resisting system, MWFRS pressure elevations. If it's a short structure like what I have here, doesn't matter too much because your pressures don't change a lot as you go down the height. But if it's say a hundred foot tall building, you could uh, you could take the default, which is the most conservative, and just uses the mean roof height. So if it was a hundred foot tall building, it would use a hundred foot. Um, or you could say, oh, I've got a floor every twelve feet, and it would go through and put a break every twelve feet and give you the pressure at that location. So you would see you know, somewhat of a decrease in pressures as you work your way down the building. Or if it's not an even increment, you could go in and just uh, put specific elevations. They could be anything, really. Um, anything that's meaningful where you say, oh, I'd really like to have the pressure at that elevation. Uh, you just enter that enter that here, and it'll, uh, it'll insert it, and then it'll be in your uh, MWFRS pressure table. So I'm going to go back to the default. Topographic, this is if you're near a hill or an escarpment, um, you would use this. I don't honestly see this used a whole lot, uh, but it is there if you need it. Um, or you could manually specify a topographic factor, KZT, but otherwise it's either none if you don't have one, or you pick the option that's most like your situation. And then when you do that, you'll enter some additional parameters and the drawing, the sketch, shows you what, what those parameters represent. Um, and then if you wanted to override the KD, which is a directionality factor, uh, you would do that here. By default, it's going to look up at the code, what you've entered, what kind of structure you've selected, uh, and it's going to pick the case, the case of D. There are some special cases. I think Hawaii at least used to have a requirement that they used a, a different Gus factor, I'm sorry, um, K sub D, the directionality factor there. So this option was added so that they could go in then and specify that manually. Uh, the Gus factor is similar. If you had a, a special method you were following to calculate the Gus and you weren't going to follow ASC 7, then you would check this and enter the Gus factor manually. You'll notice that once you've modified the advanced options, you don't have the option of hiding these. Uh, we don't want you to 
make a change and then you forget about it because you uncheck that. So once you make a change, it's going to force you to show that menu. If you don't want the menu anymore, you have to go back to the default values and then you can uncheck it and hide it again.